And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup, and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray and Rock Cod Rick Maxa. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxa. We're in the Marty 1090 studios with Captain Al, Captain Al Clowers, Bay Bass Guide, and, of course, Offshore Guide. He does it all. Al's going to be talking fishing both in the bay and outside. You stay tuned. Southern California's sport fishing voice. Let's Talk Hookup, Mighty 1090. You've heard all about it. You know the angler's catching fish habit, so what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish-finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for everyone, whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a sport boat. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. Rancho Leonero was awarded the Certificate of Excellence from TripAdvisor for four straight years. Especially interesting, most hotels are just hotels and most people stay in the hotel and go do their activities elsewhere. Rancho Leonero, of course, provides fishing, diving, all activities, all meals, your whole vacation. So the fact that we're so highly rated, we're very proud of it. From picking you up at the airport to dropping you off, literally everything is a turnkey from there. We make it as easy as we can for you at the ranch. From your meals to whether you're going to go fishing or diving or just hang out by the pool. When you're coming to Ranch Line Air, you are coming to John Ireland's home. I guarantee the best fishing vacation experience in all of Baja. That's unique. There's nowhere that I could think of to get the same experience that you get at Rancho Leonero. Our new reservation phone number is 800-646-2252, 646-Baja, and RanchoLeonero.com. It's really unique. It is. We're very proud of it. Who's going to be more successful? The guy with a state-of-the-art fish finder and the latest sonar technology? Or the guy who wastes time looking for fish the old-fashioned way? Smart fishermen know how to embrace technology. And no one understands technology better than your San Diego County Ford dealer. The new F-150 is the only truck available with Pro Trailer Backup Assist. The most advanced, most efficient way to back a trailer ever. It's just one of many high-tech features you won't find on any other truck. Ford is also the only brand available with EcoBoost, a twin turbocharged engine that offers impressive fuel economy without sacrificing power. In other words, Ford trucks just flat out work smarter. So whether you're on the road or on the water, don't let technology pass you by. Come in now and get a clearance price on a new high-tech 2017 F-Series pickup. Visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer today, Ford. That's California smart. Learn more at buyfordnow.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. It's been a while since we've had Alan here, and I always love it because just like you said in the ring, we get to talk about everything today. Yeah, he kind of covers it all. Freshwater, saltwater, inshore, offshore, bay bass, <laughs> everything. Good morning, Al. Good morning. You kind of do it all. Yes, I do. And and why is that? You kind of, you used to be a tournament bass fisherman, right? Correct, and that's where I started at. Yeah, I started guiding in the lakes, but I've always been fishing the ocean and saltwater. So I went and got my license, my ca- my my uh, captain license, and branched out and started doing the bay. And now I'm fishing. Now I'm doing charters offshore. And, yeah. And uh, I do it all. One day I'll be in the lake, and the next day I'll be, you know, at the 43. That's my favorite <laughs> thing talking to Al. You know, during the year at the shop, you know, like how's fishing? Oh, it was really good. We had really good leopard shark fishing on Tuesday, and we had a 180 pound bluefin on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, wow. absolutely. Speaking about them sharks, you know, for the kids and the families and stuff, the bay. 
is just starting to get real fertile. This is the time of year where you can catch spotty, big sand bass, a little bit of bonefish, and all the bay sharks starting to bite now, too. Oh, so, are they? Yeah. yeah. And that's kind of your specialty is taking kids fishing, isn't it? Pretty much. That's You know, I love doing that. You know, it's not there's nothing like taking a family out that doesn't really know anything about fishing and you have a few kids and you put them on some 20 bay bass in the first hour and a half and then put them on a big old bat ray later in the afternoon and... You know, there's nothing like that, you know. San Diego Bay has kind of everything, doesn't it? Correct. Yeah. 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 What Can you name, kind of off your head, name the species you've caught in San Diego Bay? Oh, man. Oh, spotty, sand bass, um, bonefish, um, short vent corvina, mackerel, uh, all the guitar, gu- guitar fish, bat rays, uh, smooth hounds, um, leopard sharks, um, halibut, yeah. you know. Okay. Croaker, Calico. yellow fin croaker, I mean, yellow fin croaker and black the little black croakers. Black and if you're catching those when you're bone fishing, you're really close to the bone fish because they swim together kind of, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's and, a lot of species in the bay. Correct. Barracuda, yeah. bonita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's, I don't know by the number, but some trips we catch 10, 11, 12 different species. Wow. Especially this time of year, well, coming into the springtime, yeah. Catch the midshipmen back there? Yes. Those yeah. Cool. Yeah. Midshipmen. It's a weird looking thing, yeah, I'll tell you that. I, I don't know how to describe it to you. They're just a trip. You know, it's a big head and kind of comes back to a bobtail and just, yeah, I don't know, funky, funky fish. But you catch, I, I caught a, I got one on the Zuniga jetty and then one back up by the Colorado Oh, I, Bridge. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. A funky. Kind of an eel looking thing. Yeah. Now, now, one fish, I wonder if you've ever caught them because I don't know. They're very, very rare. Have you ever caught a lizard fish? <laughs> I haven't. I mean, I've seen people. I've seen people catch them, but I've never caught Try to avoid them. Yeah, yeah. I've never caught one myself. Yeah, I've but if you, people. yeah, if you they are it, prolific uh, in the yeah, bay. Yeah, yeah, you put them on your hook and drift for halibut. Though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he just gave out a little secret, didn't he? <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Very good. So, uh, what's going on in the bay right now? You know, the bay's got some great tides. It's great weather, and and the fish are biting. You know, yeah. it's it's it, they're biting. You know, a lot of sand bass. And there's not a lot of people in the bay. You know, during the week, I had a client the other day tell me he knew exactly what our population was. I have no idea where it is. I know it's a lot in San Diego. But he goes, I can't believe the population in San Diego. And we're sitting out here, and we're the only boat besides these Navy <laughs> patrol boats in this whole yeah. body of water. You know, and that's crazy, pretty much the it? case out there on the weekdays, yeah. Yeah, and, and and the crazy thing is, is that even in the summer, there's not that many boats, right? No, not, well, you know, no, not in the morning. Yeah. No, no, people like to tend to get start coming out about 10, 10, 30, 11. Yeah. You know, but before that, you got the whole place yourself, nice yeah. and glassy. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, and beautiful scenery, too. Yep, beautiful and, scenery. And very diverse, too. The front bay the, is very different than the back bay. Correct. Yeah, yeah. the back bay is more like a sanctuary and, you know, refuge type of stuff and birds. And, you know, there's turtles and everything in the back bay, too. There's yeah. big sea turtles back there. You see a lot of them? No, you don't really get a good visual on them because they're quick, but you'd be sitting back there fishing, and it's just super still, and all of a sudden a big boil, you know, and you're sitting in five foot of water, you know, and there's a big boil, and then every now and then you get a glimpse of the head. There they are. But you know, I know, you know, what's going on. They're, they're showing themselves a little bit, yeah. No no doubt. What's your favorite part of the bay to take, to take kids fishing? Where, where, the, mi- and the where middle, target, the middle, and I target spotted bay bass with a really simple simple application you know yeah. and i do a lot of it you know berkeley gulp is uh 90 percent of the spotted bay bass i catch is on the gulp with the kids or families that which gulp the little three inch shrimp natural color is the best one. Really? Oh, yeah. okay how yeah do you, how do you fish that like on a dropper loop or on a lead no head? it's on a little a little half ounce kaylin's lead lead head with uh i use a 15 pound top shot on 10 on 10 pound braid on a spinning rod and you know, it's super easy, man. I mean, the kids can be holding a rod in their hand and tell them just to snap the tip a little bit or, or just hold it or whatever, or put in the rod holder, and they catch them. And, oh, you know, it's just see, it's very, very basic, and it's super easy, and it's very enjoyable for the families and the kids. And then, you know, you go from there. And you, what, what do you want to do? Go throw spooks in the evening or what? You know, I mean, it, it gets pretty – you can get pretty intense. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Throw spooks on <laughs> top water. Where do yeah. you – what? Yeah, you, you know, that's one that? of my favorite things coming up in the summertime. You know, you go around, you throw top water, lures right at, in gray light or in the evenings into the night for the, for the short fin Corvino. Oh, for the – oh, and yeah, they pull the so hard and yeah, jump. Yeah, they're fun. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, they're fun. And halibut come up and eat. It's crazy what eats the top. Uh, That's cool. Uh, to, and, you know, there's needlefish in there, too, those, those needlefish. 
they eat the top of our baits too at night. That's so no kidding. Yeah. But yeah. like you say, I mean, from as easy as dragging a, a, a lead head with a gulp and catching spotties to, you know, advanced, you know, on your game, making a cool cast with a topwater lure. I mean, and everything in between is available. In the Correct. Game. Absolutely. Cool. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So many. So, and then you talk about going offshore. You catch some bluefin last year? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get a bunch of big ones. You know, like, like I said, it's tough when I want to go target a, target a certain species some, sometimes because um, of the clients. I cater my trips to the clients. The best trip the client's going to have. If someone calls me up and says, I want to go catch a 200-pound bluefin, I go. But that don't happen too too often. Most of my calls are, hey, I want to go have fun and catch a bag of mixed species or whatever, or I just want to have fun. So it's hard to take a guy out there and troll or go put the kite up all day for one fish. When yellowtail, he has a, they, yellowfin. Yeah, yellowtail. Yeah, you know, I, I always target the easy stuff, you know, because yeah. that's what they want and that's what they go for. But... This coming year, it's going to be a little different. So I'm going to start targeting more of the bluefin and and stuff like that. Um, try to get some more uh, local clients, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But my, my, most of my clients right now are from out of town. So okay, yeah, get some local stuff. Yeah. And then what about like inshore? You fish calico, uh, uh, halibut along the inshore too. Have yeah, calicos and everything. You know, I didn't. You know, the kelp's been kind of gone, so it hasn't been as fun. You know, but they're still around. But um, I can remember this year I didn't really finish. Uh, I didn't fish too much. It was either the bay or offshore, per, or uh, pretty much. There wasn't a whole lot of little half day local trips. There was some, but not too many. But um, the calico fishing gets off the Richter, man, off the point. I'll tell you that. You know, in the summertime, I get pinned to the bait tank, and you can, you can catch a hundred of those things. You know, yeah, no problem. R- Braille some bait out there, and, and uh, just was, especially when we had anchovy. Mm-hmm. You know. And um, get them going real quick, and then I have a couple of rods with the slugs on there. You know, once they get going real quick, have the, the good clients can catch them on the slug. You know, that's fun. But yeah. no, everything, everything from the back bay all the way out to you know, say the forty three or whatever. And then what about yeah. freshwater? You're also guiding on freshwater. Too. Freshwater as well. You know, I have a couple of trips coming up um, next next month in the lake. You know, and I haven't been what's out there for a while. Otai is my home lake. You know, that's your home lake. Mm-hmm. Yep. How yeah. does that work too? Like if uh, if you know, if Pete and I wanted to go freshwater fishing, is it you know the type of thing where we say we really want to do this or learn that lake, and we go there, or do we just say, hey man, I, I really just want to go bass fishing and catch some fish, and you know, you keep in touch with all the different places that maybe are biting better than another, and we go that way. Like how does it? How do those trips? Well, work? it comes it, it comes at me in, in the same just like that. Just so, like so some guys call me up and say, hey, I just want to go go whack them. Yeah. So I got to find the best bait and bite in the lake, which is easy. They, you know, find the best biting lake, and the, which is going to be easiest for me. You know, sure. and um, we go do that. Or I have a quite a few guys call me and say, "Hey, I want to go learn Otai or whatever," because sure. yeah. they know that's Otai's my home, your lake, home lake. lake and you I know, you go out and show them where it. all the pebbles are and yeah. where all the humps are, and you know, you show them the, the, the o, Otai in the springtime is a big flipping lake. You know, so a lot of people it, it can be really tough. You know, the lake fishing is really technical. You know. Not dragging a, a gulp in the middle of the bay where you're not, you have nothing in your way, you know. It's like, hey, you want to get bit, you need to flip that thing in the middle of that bush, uh-huh. you know. So it gets pretty it, – it, guiding in the lake is the hardest work out of all of it. Is it? Okay. Yes. Yeah. And do you think that your time spent in the lake and all your freshwater bass fishing, has that improved your saltwater skills, or has the saltwater improved your freshwater, or vice versa? Or? You know, I think most of the guys that come out of a lake that are really good bass, good bass fishermen that go into the saltwater do real well. I think, and the guys come from the saltwater, um, not taking anything away from anybody, but you take them to the lake and they got a lot to learn because, you know, saltwater, as you know, you have a lot of open o- o- ocean and, I mean, you can almost count, you can count, it takes two hands to count all the techniques pretty much, but you know what I'm saying, you know, you pin on a sardine, fly line it out in open water around the kelp patty most of the time and you're bit, you know, versus it's more just... More technical. More technical in the lake. you got to really know how to use your gear and how to pitch and flip. and You don't have to, but, you know, it in helps. top water and from 5-pound test to 50-pound braid, you know. But yeah. that can be the difference between catching a couple or catching a bunch. Correct. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Yeah. And, and and that's the thing, too, is the bay is much more forgiving than a freshwater lake, too, when it comes to bass fishing. Correct. I mean, you're, it's, you know, it depends. You know, you can, I can't, you know, a lot of times, like when I'm throwing those spooks in the evening and stuff, I bust out my ranger, you know. 
I take it in the, you know, a lot of guys won't do that, but I put my Ranger in the bay, you know, and I'll put the towing motor down and go flip a bunch of docks. It, it, it can be technical, too. You can flip a bunch of docks sure. and go throw top water, you know, over grass and stuff like that in the bay. But, you know, fishing is a, can be super technical in both areas, I guess, but the lake is can be insanely technical. Yeah. You know. That's cool. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So it's such a diverse fishing uh, guide here, uh, Captain Al. How, if somebody wants to go fishing with you, what do they do? Well, they can call me directly at 619-800-FISH-3474 or go to my website at captainclowers.com. Yeah, you know, um, I posted uh, this week on our Facebook page, Let's Talk Hookup Radio Show, Hookup 1090 on Instagram, uh, the update on the Shelter Island launch ramp. I saw that. That was yeah, cool. I'm glad and, you did that. Uh, there was a, a, the, the, the Port of San Diego finally released some information, and there was really no definitive time. Did you see yeah. all that, Al? Yeah, I, I um, read through it pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. Um, there was no definitive time, but they said summer of 2018. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> does that mean yeah. beginning yeah. of summer? Would yeah. that mean the is end that, of summer? Is that, that June that or is that October? Yeah. But it's kind of like they're kind of. I, I'm like Ju- July August time period. That's what I've um, heard is the rumor mill has been August. Yeah, the one the whole thing that set the project way back was when they took the jetty out. Um, is there was a whole bunch of concrete uh, that they didn't expect down there that they had to blast out and get out of there before they could put this new. I guess it's going to be a wall. Okay. Not a, yeah. Not a not a uh, uh, a breakwater, but an actual wall. Got some piles and. Yeah, and, and uh, I guess that was the major hold, the major setback for them. But still, it seems, you know, from what I understood too, it, exactly like you said, that that extra concrete they encountered, that the issue and delay was the equipment that they had to remove what they thought they had was no problem. When they discovered that new, you know, the, all, all the all the concrete and, and rock that they didn't wear, weren't aware of. The crane that they had to get to get that out was like a two month delay because it was oh, it was uh-huh. promised or working on whatever job before it needed to finish that. So they were they were at like so they're kind of stalled. They were at a major standstill just waiting for the equipment that it took to get the stuff that they didn't plan on having to yeah. uh, having to deal with. Yeah, so it set them back at least a couple months. Again, that's just what I hear. You know, yeah, no, through that the great line of the shop. So I mean, like anyway, that. that's the kind of the latest on that uh, from the port of San Diego is. Summer of 2018. Right. <laughs> and how does that affect your business, Al? Does that? Well, it doesn't that? really affect me because. Great for Al. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, lob, well, for one thing, lobster fishing too. You know, that's another thing I do. But lobster fishing has been. There's not very many boats out there, as oh. you know. You've been out there a little bit this oh, year. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's thinned out the crowd basically. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I got both my boats in the slip, the Marina Cortez. Okay. So, so you're in the slip. You yep. don't have to rely on, bother the, bay, me a on, bit. on, on the launch ramp. Mm-mm. Yeah. Not anymore. And then if you fish the back bay in your Ranger, you can just launch back in the back. Correct. Of the park, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 But for the most part, that's fun fishing. So the Ranger's yeah. not permitted, but um, the other boats are, I just go from Marina Cortez to the back, which is kind of a bummer, but it, it's all in the on the budget. Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for today. A lot to talk about inshore, offshore, bay bass, freshwater. Oh, totally. I love this show. So much fun. And so much fun talking with Al, a guy that goes all the time. has no problem telling you exactly how it's done. Al gives it up, and we have a lot of fun doing it. And if you want to get through, ask a question this morning. Be a part of Let's Talk Hookup. There's two ways that you can do that. First is with our local line. That's the best number right now. It's wide open, 858 457 1090. Again, 858 457 1090. It's open right now. Or you can reach us toll free. That toll free number is 877 792 1090. One more time, 877 792 1090. Just one of those open, but still a chance to get through. And not only are we talking to Captain Al all morning long, we're also going to have great catch reports, all kinds of great information on Let's Talk Up today. Also giving away a great prize for one lucky caller at the end of the show today. Somebody's going to get to go fishing on a three quarter day trip on board the Liberty at a fisherman's landing. Fantastic opportunity. I know the Liberty's in the final stretch of their maintenance period right now, so you're going to get to go on the boat. It's all shiny and painted and beautiful. Yeah. It's always nice going right after the maintenance because the boat looks so good. And oh, yeah. I know those guys have been busting their butts, working really hard, and they're in that home stretch. I know Liberty's going to be online and fishing soon, and hopefully at those Coronado Islands catching us up some yellowtail. So, again, if you want to get through, 858-457-1090. That's your best shot. And when we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls. Lots of great info coming your way. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. 
here to tell you about our friends Jim and Mary and their incredible crew at Poway Valley Collision. I hear it all the time. Hey, I took my car to Poway Valley Collision, and you were right. Mentioned you guys, and they gave us the VIP treatment, fixed our car, and even gave us a special price. Believe me when I say Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. We know you may not need them now, but when accidents happen, it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. And I'm not fooling. Our listeners can save hundreds of dollars on your car or truck repair. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, MetLife, and Wawanisa, and more. All you do is call Jim, Mary, or any of their team members, and they do all the rest. No hassles, just top-notch work and VIP treatment. I had my car repaired at Poway Valley Collision, and the job was perfect. So get your vehicle fixed right at Poway Valley Collision, 14211 Garden Road in Poway. Check PowayValleyCollision.com. Alaska is one of the ultimate fishing destinations in the world. This is Rock Cod Rick, and every year the one trip I look forward to is Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. My dad and I have been going for over 15 years, and I just can't wait to go again. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, the finest fishing charter captains in all of Sitka, and the ultimate value. Sure, I've been to others, but time and time again, nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. You can catch huge halibut like the ones we do almost every year, and salmon? Well, Sitka is famous for some of the best runs in Alaska. We also get plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. And listen to this, it's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except the tips. It's truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Come and join me on the Let's Talk hookup trip in June, or just go when you can. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136, or check kingfishercharters.com. It's time for Yamaha's The Key to Reliability sales event. For a limited time, purchase a new select eligible 2.5 to 300 horsepower four-stroke outboard and have your choice of either two free years of Yamaha extended service coverage or up to $1,500 in dealer credit. Reliability starts here. Yamaha. Visit your local Yamaha Outboards dealer today. Offer ends March 31st, 2018. Subject to change at any time. Other restrictions and conditions apply. See authorized participating Yamaha Outboard dealers for details. This promotion cannot be used with any other Yamaha offer. Have you been looking for a live bait hook that keeps live bait alive? Look no further than Japan's leading fish hook, Gamakatsu. It's the little things that make the difference, and Gamakatsu hooks drive the point home. With an absolute perfect bend and ideal barbs, your bait swims harder and longer. And when you get bit, Gamakatsu hooks bite back with a vengeance. All hooks are not the same. Go with Gamakatsu for infinite success. Gamakatsu, simply the best. Check Gamakatsu.com. It's time for the 30-second Power Pro Seminar. Here's the hot tip for those of us that like to fish with small reels for big fish. Fill your spools with Power Pro Max Quattro. It's 25% thinner than standard Power Pro. That means you're going to get more line on that small reel. Plus, you can fly line your bait more effectively. Here's another tip about Power Pro Max Quattro. Your casting distance will increase in addition to increasing your spool capacity. So downsize your tackle and use Power Pro Max Quattro. Check PowerPro.com for more information. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. You want to get through, talk to Cap now, win a trip on the Liberty to go fishing? Here's your chance. 858 457 1090 open right now. The only chance you have to get through. Uh, check out this week's edition of Western Outdoor News, always loaded with great information. This week, wow, look at that striper. Wow. Right? That was a that, fat one. Yeah, and big bluefin and uh, trout action, all kinds of stuff in there. This week, and halibut and freshwater stuff. Uh, 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 one of our Rich from Bradley wrote a nice article. That was cool. I Western saw that. Outdoor News too. One of our regular callers, Rich, he wrote a nice uh, freshwater bass article in there. So be sure to check out that out. This week's edition of Western Outdoor News, and of course, you can always find out who's on the Let's Talk Hookup Show in every week too. You got it, man. Well, hey, we're going to jump into those phones, and why don't we start it off this morning up at Echo Park. Talk to Ruben. Ruben, thanks for getting us started here on Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, Ruben. Hey, Ruben. Ah, good morning, uh, Pete, Al, Rick. Uh, uh, my question for you this morning is, uh, you know, I, I used to notice uh, quite a few uh, flying fish in, in the day out there on the channel, and I haven't seen them for a long time, and uh if, if you do get a chance to get into some uh, flying fish, how would you hook up? That's a good question. You know, personally, I don't really 
get involved in using the flying fish too often around here because they're really hard to net. You know, I guess the long range guys down there at night, they, they put the lights on and they net them up and they use them strictly for them big, big, uh, uh, yellowfin down there. And, you know, I, I would imagine they just, they just, I don't know, Rick might be able to touch a little bit more on the, on the rig, rig and the flying fish. And there were some local fly, there's a, yeah. there's a splatter. That's not like it was. Back in the day where you could just get gobs of them at Catalina, I remember they used to have boats that go out and target flying fish boats, you know, and stuff like that. <laughs> remember those? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm older. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, you don't remember that. <laughs> no, no, they used to have boats. They I used believe to have you. These, I mean. No, they used to have these boats with big, giant spotlights. Sure. And it was like a flying fish Just like a visit. tour or out, like you're actually tour, going to catch yeah, them? Like okay, I got you. I got you. I think that's still exists. Out of Avalon. That's cool. Yeah. So, anyway, and there's flying fish around. I know. On the Islander last year, uh, when we were at San Clemente Island on the front side, anchored up, uh, there were gobs of flying fish out there. There were some very big bluefin caught with flying fish Fly by caught. some of our very savvy sport boats this year. Like yeah. the guys that were doing those big trips where they were catching that fish were just like you would do on a long range trip, and exactly like you described. You turn all the lights on, and and you know either on the anchor they come to you, or if you're really out getting them like you do on Hurricane Bank, you just you literally just drive around until they come into the lights and scoop them and put them in the tank. And they're most commonly fished on on the kite. And uh, you use a large hook, a, you know, a real big hook, and you literally just span it through the through the back, almost like you were shoulder hooking a sardine, but a little bit farther back. So when they're on the kite, they lay pretty flat. Uh, the other common way to fish them is on a sinker rig, and for that you just pin it, just you know, top top down through the nose, you know, or, or that nose area, like you would a sure. a, a sardine. But. And they don't live a long time. That's the thing is that you can't. It's not like putting sardine or mackerel in your tank. They're not going to last very long. Right. And they need a lot of space. You, you got that so, right. So things. Yes, but 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 they fish frozen too, just yeah, fine they, they, and dead. They are fantastic on the kite. I mean, absolutely fantastic. But they're fragile, and the fish are really good at picking them off yeah. too. And they're like candy for them. No doubt. Yeah, for sure. Some of those sport boats had some very, very, you know, the guys that are savvy enough to do it, and that's not an easy thing to do, but there were some very, very good fishing. On on the days when those things would bite next to nothing and you put one of those things out on one of the breezers, a lot of times that was a way of drawing a bite when nothing else would. Yeah. So. But, I know on the long-range boats down at Hurricane Bank, it's almost like the sport. Oh, the, the nighttime best. sport for the uh, the deckhand. <laughs> How who can scoop the most? I can tell you that one of the funnest things we had on our trip was standing up top with a Florida Kanye and and just yelling smack at all the boys on who would miss and who would get one. And it is like you said, it is a serious serious competition Not on who's boy. who's the man on scooping flyers. I'm better than you. You missed. You suck. I'm the man. It was really really fun. <laughs> who's the best on the Royal Star? Well, if you ask anybody. If you ask Blake, he'll tell you that it's him. It's him and yeah. the reality is they're all pretty darn good. They're all pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but Blake, Blake is certain that he's the best he, at it. He's certain, yeah, of course. All right, hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. Let's jump right back into him. Talk to TJ, calling us from Lemon Grove this morning. Hi, TJ. Welcome to the show. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, good morning, uh, Pete, Rick, and Al. Hope everything's uh, going good for your Sunday. Just want to let you know, uh, came home Tuesday after work, got in the mailbox, bam, there's the Fred Hall circular. I know. Yeah, that buddy. I'm like, it's man, coming. I can't even believe it's almost here already. Yeah, it's it's uh, going to be first week in March, first Wednesday in March. I believe it's March 7th. That yeah, really 11th, looking forward to it. Long Beach Convention Center, and then a week off, and then down to Delmar. San Diego and Del Mar. Yeah, yep, so. definitely stop by and say hi to you guys. Take care. Yeah, all right. Well, yeah, it's it's kind of Fred Hall time. We're all getting ready for it. I know our shop's in full swing. All the boys are pricing and packing, and we're planning in this deal and that deal, and this is coming to the show. It's just it's a fun time of year, and, and it's here. Like, it's yeah. definitely, like, it's no longer a thing that's in the distance. It'll maybe happen, and we're, in, we're starting. We're counting down. Yeah, no doubt about it. And, and another thing that uh, we're counting down for is our live remote coming up. On Sunday, February 18th at Dana Landing. Speaking of Bay Bass, it's the sixth annual Bay Bass Seminar at Dana Landing. Live broadcast, let's talk hookup, 7 to 9 a.m. This is where all the action is going to be happening yeah. that weekend. Uh, Benny Florentino from Coastal Charter is going to be there. Gene Estabrook from ECBT. Oh, nice. Genix, uh, yeah. the <laughs> ultimate guy there, <laughs> talking about freshwater and saltwater. And then uh, there's, at 9.30, there's going to be a panel discussion with Benny Florentino Corey Sandin, Afrin Abutin, and Matt Moyer. That's going to be gonna so be good. an unbelievable. And then at 11 o'clock, uh, Afrin's going to do like a beginner kayak bay fishing seminar oh, right cool. on, on his, at his kayak and talk about kayak fish in the bay, which is really going to be cool. And then 
Well, I, I think it's all highlights, but Rory from Traeger <laughs> is going to be cooking That's a serious up highlight. Traeger. Uh, he's going to be cooking up uh, fresh Traeger lunch and then uh, beer tasting from Ballast Point oh, Brewery. Man. Come on. It's all free. This is going to be such a yeah. fun day. And not to mention the sale part of it. Those guys throw down every year. This is yeah. such a killer, killer sale that they do at Dana Landing. And it's not just Bay stuff that's on sale. It's practically the whole store, yeah. but highlighted the crazy, crazy bass fishing, plastics, leadhead, bay bass, rods, reels, all, everything associated with that is crazy discount in addition to just about everything else. Yeah. It's stuff such a good sale. they don't have to discount, they discount. That's what always trips me out every year is that they take the stuff that is highlighted, the most popular thing you would do at that time of the year, and they not only put it on sale, they make a huge, it's it's a really, really fun event. Yeah, so, and then they and then it's like a little mini Fred Hall show. Yeah. They're going to have a whole bunch of, Arapala is going to be there, 13 Fishing, War Baits, Salty Crew, Blue Seas Fabrications, the Sea Deck Guys, MC Swim Baits, ECBT, Cousins Rods, Fast Lane Kayaks, Traeger, Babe, Kombucha, uh, Fisherman's Processing will be there sampling their oh, cool. new product and probably selling I would their think new so. product. Uh, yeah, the new uh, jerky and smoked as well as the tuna burgers. Uh, CCA is going to be there. You join CCA, you get a four. You, you join CCA paid. for $30, you get a $40 gift card to, to Dana Landing. And if you join for a lifetime membership, like I'm a lifetime member, you get any pair of Maui Gym sunglasses. That's so you know, cool. That's like a $300 pair of sunglasses. Uh, Freedom Boat Club is going to be there. Small Boat Club, Phoenix Rods, Dana Landing, Hobie Kayaks, and Pure Fishing. So it's it's that's not be even a, a mini time. Fred Hall show. It's yeah, a yeah. medium Fred Hall show. <laughs> so that's, mark your calendar, Sunday, February 18th from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. right there at Dana Landing in Mission Bay. I'll be there. Well, yeah, that's what I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, well, the phones are getting packed up again. If you want to get through, 858-457-1090 or 877-792-1090. Let's talk to Gary, calling us from San Diego this morning. Hi, Gary. Welcome to the show. Good morning. I wanted to hear a little bit more about that topwater fishing that Al was yeah. talking about. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm with you. I'm glad. Oh. Yeah, what's the questions on that? Well, when, what time of day and, what? I mean, what? What techniques and where? <laughs> well, it's all in the bay, you know, on the sandy beaches is where. But um, it's got to be low light. You know, if you do it early in the morning, you know, you le- launch in the dark, you know, get out there and all those short vin corvina eat at night pretty much. Gray light or into the night. Or into into the night on the east. Yeah, correct. Yeah. And you can actually walk the beaches if you want to. You don't even really need a boat. You wow. know. And over by like Cor- over Silver Strand. Yeah, Silver Strand, Coronado. Anywhere there's sand and there's not a lot of people. Interesting. And those wow. things pull hard. And you're using just like uh, regular um, top. My favorite guys. bait is the white saltwater spook. The three, white the three saltwater hooker. spook. Yeah, the super spook. The, yep, super the white spook. one. Yep, with wow. the, with and you the just galvanized. Fish it just like you would a freshwater bass? Absolutely. Just throw that thing out. It's a lot of work. You know, you get out there and you make a million casts and. So I think the most I've caught in one night was like 15 of them. And, I mean, before it got... That's a good we, night. We, we were in my ranger, you know, and we got off the water like a 10. You know, in the summer, so it was like two and a half hours. It was really good yeah. that night, you know. But and they get pretty big, don't they? They can get... Yeah, my, well, one year I posted uh, a 10-2. A 10-2? Yeah. I didn't know they yeah, got that yeah, big. Yeah, they're big. They, wow. You know, and then some days I had a guy that um, hired me just for that, and they only caught two fish, but one was... Like six six and the other one was seven two. Whoa! Wow! No yeah. kidding. Yeah. Big so big. some days you don't get a you don't get a lot of bites, you know, but you get big ones. And but you know you you run into the right area, um, and it's a blast, oh, you totally. know. I mean, it's just, like fishing sea, white sea yeah, bass, yeah. eating a top water plug. Yeah. The thing I like about it is, you know, I come from the lakes and top, top, back in the day, that's all I used to do before I started fishing derbies and stuff like that. But um, take that to salt water and. A lot of people don't even really know about it. You know, I might get chewed out for talking about it on the radio. But, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, the topwater fishing, yeah. I mean, in the bay, you know, topwater stuff. And, and basically, you, when too, I'm in the right? boat, yeah, yeah, over grass and stuff like that. For Yeah, and crankbaits, you know, I catch halibut. I can't do it right now because I got a different uh, outdrive on my boat, and I troll too fast, barely in gear. But when I had my other boat, Throw crankbaits back on the flat and catch all kinds of halibut. Really? That's really yeah. cool. Wow. Yeah, Fine. there's all kinds Will of that core? Uh, no, 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 you're fishing 13 foot of water on a zero tide, so okay. it fluctuates less or a little bit more, you know, as the tide uh, comes in. But no, just regular line, 13 feet, you're using a 25 foot deep crankbait, fat free shads. 
Wow. Trolling them around, bouncing them off the bottom, and the hell of it eat, you know. That's so cool. Yeah. There's a but, bunch of different and, crazy and, stuff. And, like and so, uh, what kind of tide is good for that carvina? Does it matter? It just has to be low light. You know, I tide hasn't really mattered for me at night. You know, you don't want it too low because it's just yeah. just nasty. But um, um, m- m- the most important part is the darkness. Okay. Yeah. To me. And yeah. these are orange mouth corvina. They're. You know, they are, they look just like the fish in the salt and sea to me. Yeah. Some people call them short fin. They're short fin. So corvina. short fin corvina, but orange they look mouth. The same, right? They have an orange mouth with fangs in them. So, so is there's a short fin corvina, there's an orange mouth corvina, and then there's a corbina, which is the one you. Corbina's on the on the on the beach. On the beach yeah. And, the and they all look very similar. Well, so the, the corbina is, looks way different because it has a mouth going down, it has a little down. tiny mouth and no and, and no teeth. The corvina have big mouths and big thing, a couple of big things, and they definitely have orange in there. And they look really like a sea bass. So yeah. the short fin corvina and the orange mouth corvina are pretty darn close. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I I couldn't tell you the difference. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I, I know just like you said, Pete. I know that there's a difference between those two, but I, I couldn't tell you which they were. I just know the fish we catch in the bay look just like a sea bass, but they got fangs yeah. and they got an orange mouth. Yeah, so they're correct. Like, and they're cool. And they pull hard. Yeah, they're, and they're, they're awesome. Aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. I, I will say, too, though, they're a, they are a delicate fish, too, though. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. you don't want to yeah. flop them on board and grab a hold of them. I mean, they're they're really cool to catch, but if you're catching them just to, just to mess with them, just, you know, de- unhook them in the water or just, or just yeah. be easy with them. You know don't, what I mean? Like, yeah. Don't touch them. Yeah. yeah they're not, there's yeah. tools to yeah. try and just, unhook them. Just like a sea bass, you know, yeah. you, you get to handle those things a bunch. They're, they're game over. Same with bonefish, yeah. too. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to handle them. Yeah, yep. bonefish really have a big slime coat on them. So, yeah, I use a Promar rubber net, you know. Smart. And, and, yeah. And, and then just de-hooking to Yeah, and I try to grab them with the needle nose and just grab the hook and flip yeah. them off. Take a picture, you know, or, yep. and then flip them off. Flip them but, off. And, but, and what do you catch them on? Um, go shrimp. On go shrimp. I haven't yeah. done that in way too long. Yeah, and and yeah. you guys need to come out and do it. Anybody me. that hasn't, anybody out there that hasn't done the San Diego bonefish thing, you have to just go hire Al and go back in the back and do it. If you have heard about it and thought that sounds cool, you've got to go do that. It's such a cool That's thing fun. to go catch bonefish in San Diego, and you absolutely can go do it. And they are real bonefish. Yeah, it's the real oh, deal. Because yeah. yeah. Ricky and I have caught them on the flats of Christmas Island, yeah. and they look exactly <laughs> yeah. the same. I promise yeah. you it's the same fish. Yeah. 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 You can fly from Christmas Island to San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. That does free up. 858-457-1090. Open right now. All right. And how about next up, we talked to Mike. He's calling us from Rosemead this morning. What's up, Mike? Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, Pete. Rick and Al. Uh, you kind of mentioned a ranger boat, but I was wondering, uh, you have uh, your freshwater agenda also. What kind of freshwater boat do you have? And then uh, for going offshore, what do you fish on? What's um, the the, the yeah, my freshwater lake's a 20-foot 20, a 20 ran, ra, ranger with the 225 Optimax on it. It's an older one, but it's all... Looks like brand new. Um, and then my offshore boat, I have two of them permitted right now. And one of them, the, my favorite one's my 25 foot Chris Craft Scorpion with a tower and eyes and glass and controls up top and the whole deal. Big Pacific Edge Bay tank on the deck and stuff. That's a classic. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a great cool. boat. It, it works really good in, in all conditions, actually. I take that thing all the way in the back bay and down to zero tide. In like three foot of water, two Whoa, two and a half on. foot of water. I'm not kidding you. Really? Yeah, you can find me back there bone fishing, but as as, <laughs> there's a wrecked boat back there. And as soon as that gets out of the water, just the right place, I got to get out of there. But okay. Yeah. yeah, I've skimmed that thing out of there many times. Uh, <laughs> Pretty o- cool. Over the eelgrass just to yeah. get out with the motor trimmed up. But yeah, I take it way back there. Yeah, cool. But yeah, that's what I got. You know, um, I haven't mentioned nothing about it, but here pretty quick. Uh, hopefully, in another five or six weeks, I'm gonna have a th- be running a 36 footer. Is gonna be so I'm gonna be expanding the horizon to six pack high end charters here. So I will hopefully I'll get a date back on the show and we'll be talking about that in, in, in a month or so. That's exciting. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. And when we come back, we got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. More your phone calls, more information, more catch reports. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Rock Cod Rick here for West Coast Marine and Parker Boats. You see them all over Southern California waters. Parker Boats at the launch ramp, the offshore islands. You wake up in the morning on an overnight trip and there they are. Parker Boats of all size fishing in the same area as the sporty. There's a good reason for it. Fishability and seaworthiness. Of all the boats out there, my boat partner and I chose to get a brand new 25 Parker Center Console from Kevin Kelly and the gang at West Coast Marine and I could not be happier. Wow, what a fishing machine. Parker Marine builds a heavy-duty, industrial-strength boat 
boat probably overbuilt, but that's why so many four and six pack charters choose to operate Parkers. We thank the guys at Pinnacle Sport Fishing, Season Sport Fishing, One Man Charters, Black and Blue Sport Fishing for their confidence in Parker boats. Take it from me, if you are ready for a new Parker at a fair, upfront, and honest deal, you need to see Kevin Kelly at West Coast Marine. Located at 1555 Newport Boulevard in Costa Mesa, or check out their inventory and information at westcoastmarine.com. For East Cape Fishing, Jen Wren is known as the best. This is Mark Rayer. Great service, top quality equipment, including all accurate reels, Cal Star rods, and Cibran Electronics, has put my immaculately maintained twin-engine cruisers in a class of their own. For memories of a lifetime, just bring your hat and sunglasses, and we'll provide a fishing experience that will exceed your expectations. Our calendar's filling fast, so don't miss out. For packages, two live webcams, a weekly fishery report, and more, check out TeamGenRen.com. We pick up at all East Cape Resorts, so let's go fishing. Cast Tours is a family-owned and operated travel company that specializes in taking you to great fishing destinations. They take pride in providing the best and most affordable vacation packages available. For over 20 years, Cast Tours has been creating unique sport fishing and vacation trips. Whether it's a fishing trip, a family vacation, or an adventure, they will provide you the service and value you deserve. Call Cast Tours at 800-593-6510 or check casttours.com. All the Bay Bass excitement this year is at Dana Landing in Mission Bay, Sunday, February 18th. It's the ultimate Bay Bass seminar and sale. Bigger and better than ever. It all starts with a live Let's Talk Hookup broadcast at 7, followed by the ultimate panel discussion next door at Fast Lane Kayaks with Benny Florentino, Afran Abutin, Corey Sandin, and Matt Moyer. Learn the best techniques for catching fish in the bay. After the panel, Afran will give an on-the-water kayak fishing seminar. Rory Taylor from Traeger Grills will be serving lunch, and Ballast Point Brewing will have beer tasting. Plus, almost everything will be on sale at Dana Landing. We're talking big discounts on the tackle you need from all the top manufacturers. And several representatives will be on hand to answer your questions. Sign up for CCA at the Dana Landing event and receive a $40 gift card or a pair of Maui Gym sunglasses. It's one day only, Sunday, February 18th, and only at Dana Landing. Right across from SeaWorld next to the Dana Launch Ramp in Mission Bay. Check DanaLanding.com for more details. This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Long Range Vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the long range fishing experience. A spring 8 day, summer 5 day, or a fly down fly back 11 day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality long range voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top of the line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at royalstarsportfishing.com or call Tracy at 619-224-4764. XERS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. All right, let's find out what's biting. You got it, bro. It's time for the catch for today. That's sponsored by Fisherman's Processing in San Diego and Fish Pros Market. Fisherman's Processing is San Diego's finest. That's why they're known as the Fish Pros. Once you try them, you'll be hooked. They'll fillet and vacuum pack your fish to your specs, as well as offer you the very best in smoked fish, jerky, and their famous tuna burgers. And just like we talked about yesterday with Tim, if you want to try that smoked fish, the jerky, the tuna burger, now you can buy it at their retail location at Fisherman's Processing or check out all the farmers markets around town. You can jump on their website. All of it available now for purchase. Check Fisherman'sProcessing.com for more details or better yet, just see them when your trip returns to the San Diego Landings. Indeed. Let's start it up at Dana Wharf Sport Fishing. Captain Chris Pika's back. Good morning, Pika. What's up, Pika? Good morning, gentlemen. How you doing? Doing great, great buddy. What's going on out awesome. there? Awesome. Well, hey, guys, uh, well, let me tell you. Let me start out with the half days here. You know, half day fishing. Um, it's been it's been up and down this last week. You know, we've been targeting the calico bass, sand bass, and scope. Of course, rockfish are out of season. Whitefish and sheephead. And yes, they do have a calendar down there because they've been biting. <laughs> Unfortunately, the bass bite. It's been a little picky on the bass. But what the guys that have been producing, you know, they've been dropping down to the lighter lots. They've been using their like. Uh, 10, 12 pound test line, and they've been, uh, they've been, you know, they've been, uh, producing some, uh, nice bass. Uh, you know, it's just been picky on the bass, but the water's been warming up. We had a little bit of that, uh, weather move through there on Thursday, and it kind of, uh, put a little damper on things, but, you know, I got, I got almost 59 degree water. It's back bumping up towards 60, and, uh, getting a little action this morning. Got a beautiful morning out here, beautiful sun. 
I mean, whoops, let me turn my radio off here. Sorry about that, gentlemen. And, uh, you know, so we're starting, you know, this water's warming up a little bit with this nice weather we got coming through here, and we're starting to see more life on the bass action. You know, uh, guys, uh, that's on the half days, and we have a 6.30 half day that goes out, comes back 11.30. We got the 10 o'clock half day, comes back at 3, and we also have the noon half day, which, of course, is 12 o'clock, comes back at 5. And, guys, three-quarter day fishing, the sculpin have been uh, just biting really good. Uh, you know, they've been fishing out in that deeper water. So, um, you know, bring a rod with you. You can drop down a couple hundred feet quite easy. And uh, like I was saying uh, a couple times, a couple, was that, a couple weeks ago, I covered Tawoi. And uh, those Lucanus jigs, those Shimano Lucanus jigs, those things work really good. Put a little strip of squid on them, you know, and uh, those things work really good on the sculpin. And uh, also the reverse drop and loop and the drop and loops have been productive too. Uh, using the strip bait, the strip of squid has been mainly uh, what they've been biting on. You know, okay, a few of them on that strip of sardine. And guys, uh, that's our three quarter day boat. We also got our halibut derby going out. In fact, we got Captain Corey Weeks on the Clemente. He just left. Uh, he's on his way out to do some halibut drifting today. Now, guys, this derby is fun right now because this is where you got the leaderboard. Leaderboard's full. All 25, and so we're, you know, we're, we're catching a nice halibut. It's bumping somebody off the leaderboard or bumping somebody up a little higher, bumping somebody else down a little lower. So now we're starting to see, uh, you know, it's getting to be a lot of fun. It's getting really interesting here. Now, the top three places we got in our halibut derby, we have uh, David Sluter with a 36.9-pound halibut. That's the one to beat. That's the first place one. And then we have Cheryl Owens. I'm sure some of you guys saw her. She was on the cover of Western Outdoor News, uh, I think it was last week. Uh, with a 32.4 pound halibut, we got uh, Greg uh, Harrington with a. He's in third place with a 25.1 pound halibut. So we got some good action going on in the halibut derby here, guys. And uh, there's also been a really good steady flow of whales coming through here. A lot of gray whales coming through, and you know, like I've been saying for years, it's a good way to get somebody introduced that down the water. The trips are short; they're only like two hours long, so it's a good way to get somebody started out in the water and out on, you know. Uh, get them, uh, you, you know, kind bet. of uh, used to the boat. Pick a nice day and get on the boat and get them introduced, and then you get them hooked on fishing. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> yeah. Game yeah. plan, Pete Gray. Good living, Pete. Indeed. Hey, how do we get a hold of you if we want to go fishing a day in or sport fishing? Guys, you can give us a call here at the office, and the phone number is area code 949-496-5794. Or you could uh, look us up on the web at our website there, gainawarf.com. You can friend us on Facebook. You can get our Dana War Sport Fishing app. And also, you could uh, link up with the Let's Talk Hooked Up uh, Let's Talk up, um, for webpage. What? Yeah, webpage. Web yeah. Page. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, dog. Excellent. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Pika. Thanks a lot, Captain. And we will talk to you guys next week. You guys have a great week. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Pika. Right. Thanks a lot. Okay, we're waiting for Gundy, but uh, he'll be coming up soon. If you want to get through, talk to Captain Al. Win a trip on the Liberty this morning. Line open right now. It's been a busy morning already. There's your chance. 858-457-1090. 858-457-1090. Also, if you want to get through toll free, it's 877-792-1090. Open right now. I want to mention we got a got a quick note from our good buddy Captain Renee on board the Shogun who came back from a trip last night said they had fantastic uh, red fishing on one of their um, you know Baja Baja Coastal Freezer Special style trips and had really good red fishing and also there's some really good yellowtail fishing going on and wanted to let everybody know they got a few spots available next week they're doing a three day trip I just checked out the website it's a definite go it's a light load so a really cool opportunity oh, show good. exactly and they're going to be targeting uh, Obviously, rock cod, but targeting yellowtail and bluefin tuna as well with Captain Renee. Full style showgun trip, all the killer meals, all the killer service, all the killer everything. Next Friday night? Uh, yeah, it leaves on February the 2nd, comes back on February the 5th, three day wow. trip, and a really cool opportunity to go on an awesome boat and a light load that's already a definite go. Very nice. And there were bluefin scores yesterday, good ones. Yeah, I, I heard uh, I heard one of the boats had limits of bluefin yesterday. I know that another boat, the, the Queen, had very, very good yellowtail fishing, 75 big yellows, 20 to 20. 25 pounders, yo yo jig fishing, so nice. really good and opportunities lots of big to go. Reds. Yes, yeah, I heard yeah. limits of big cod. Just sounded like an awesome trip. And the, the long range forecast is for pretty darn good uh, uh, weather next week. Oh, what too. a shame! What a shame that is. Yeah, that is. <laughs> All <laughs> it's right, be good right. Surf Guru Gundy Gunderson's on the line. Good morning, Gundy. Wow. I, I, to go along with that, I got some good bass fishing in the reef in the middle of January. We'll take that. <laughs> we'll take that just fine. 
So uh, endless summer, whatever you want to call it. A uh, a couple things happening. We're really starting to see the perch take hold. You know, the water has been gradually cooling, and that's why we've really experienced some pretty good fishing. And uh, secondly is that it, it seems like that uh, the halibut moved out this week, and most of the halibut were real short fish. And so that usually happens this time of year when that switch starts falling up out deep. Hook, line, sinker reported good bass fishing on the shallow reefs. Anglers throwing three- and four-inch swim baits over the rocky spots have been taking a mix of calco bass and sand bass. They also had a few legal halibut. Uh, East Beach was the better spot up there, but they really struggled to get legal fish this week. Wiley's reported uh, with the 101 open, some of the perch ringers got up to that Ventura Oxnard uh, area. The group fished off Ventura and had limit fishing. The bulk of the fish ranged from a half to one pound, but they did have five fish over two pounds. So that's that's a nice catch, and that sounds like uh, that perch bite's heading in the right direction. Uh, small lucky craft was what they took the bigger fish on, and you're seeing a lot of these perch guys kind of go to those smaller lucky craft when they're looking for big fish. So just fishing reported a few more stripers. Taken uh, off anchovies near the Hermosa Pier, four and a six pound fish. Big fish reported improved perch bite off Bolsa Chica. Bloodworms and lugworms have been tops there. Fish to a pound and a quarter. The grubbers are also doing well there. Catch em tackle in Newport reported a 10 pound striped bass taken off river jetties on a white fluke bait. And we were talking about how well those flukes work in the cooler water. And then Hogan's and Dana Point reported a good mix of perch. Croker biting below the pier there, lugworms the top bay. Pacific Coast reported slow along North County beaches, but one of their uh, their regulars was down there at Silver Strand and uh, down by Coronado, I guess, and said very good perch fishing down there. Gulp sandworms and bloody. Most of the fish range from half to a pound with a few kickers. We don't talk about that area, but uh, it's kind of a sneaky good area. Humpede, Imperial Beach, Coronado, Silver Strand. It doesn't really get a lot of fishing pressure. <clears throat> That's the beauty of it. Like you say, there's just not a lot of boats that fish down there, and you can, you know, you can find a little stretch, and as long as you put in a little bit of homework, there's some really good fish to be had, and you can totally have those beaches to yourself. Yeah, the guys said it was kind of a cool experience fishing down there, a really neat area, and uh, very good perch fishing, so... That's it's good. The road. That's good. Good info, yeah. dude. Stuff, Gundy, and of course you're now the long range guy in Western Outdoor News. He had a great article this week about all the big cows being caught down on the long range fleet out of San Diego. And keep up the good work there, yeah, Gundy. You're, you're doing, awesome. Doing great, Gundy. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I, uh, I I I got a piece coming out too with South Coast Sport Fishing on uh, uh, habitat for uh, inshore uh, white sea bass and having Brandon in there last week. Boy, that that's just good information. That guy. Uh, He's the ringer. Yeah, he is. No doubt. For sure. Gundy Gunnarsson, surf guru extraordinaire. Thanks for that. We'll talk to you next Sunday. Thanks for the good words, guys. Have a good week. Thanks, Gundy. Appreciate that. Well, that's going to wrap up our catch for Hey, don't forget to pick up your 2018 CCA sport fishing calendar at Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the Long Fin, Turner's Outdoorsman, and other fine stores. The proceeds help benefit CCA California. And don't forget, you've got to register your calendar at ccacalifornia.org. That you're going to have a chance to win all those great monthly prizes that are always announced right here on Let's Talk Hookup. On the back of your calendar, you'll see a number and all that information on registering that if you already have a calendar. Super easy to do. Just go on, register, and you're going to be eligible for a bunch of really cool prizes. There you go. Let's go ahead and jump back in the phones. Phones are packed up. How about this time we talk to Dee? Dee's calling us from Laguna Beach this morning. What's up, Dee? Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Uh, Good morning, Captain P, Captain Riz, and Captain Al. (laughs) Captain Al. I, I have your phone number, and I'm, I'm a saltwater fisherman, but I want to get into freshwater fishing. Do you provide some fishing tackle on your boat if I want to hire you? Yeah. So the way it works is I pretty much have everything except for your license, lunch, and your beer. There you go. So sure. The boat's fully loaded with uh, all the rods, reels, and everything. And every now and then, you know, every now and then sometimes I'll uh, I'll do a bait crawdad trip, you know. That's how I cut my teeth back in the back in there and actually if we fish bait sometimes i ask for the client to pay for that but other than that everything is all good to go that's on the freshwater side yeah yeah uh, yep yep cool crawdads catch a big one right oh yeah i catch i've got tons of fish over 10 pounds on crawdads tons of lots of them back in and that was back in the day yeah i haven't done a long time but i used to double anchor and sit there and 
Stitch them up. Yeah, stitch them up, dude. And I'll tell you what, you right now is the time to do, do that, it. Huh? Oh, yeah. Now? Yeah, right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very yep. good. All right. Hey, D, check it out. Um, Again, is it Clap? What's your website? CaptainClowers.com. CaptainClowers.com. All right. Appreciate the call this morning. That does free up 877-792-1090. Open right now or 858-457-1090. I want to go get my... Lunker Bill Murphy on with the yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah absolutely <laughs> hey, you know you, the main thing Bible. about fishing crawdads you gotta have two really good anchors there you go go slow and a, and a, and a nice little tray of green crawdads <laughs> <laughs> I count me in on that that sounds fun <laughs> hey let's jump back into him Jim calling us from National City this morning hi Jim you're up next on Let's Talk Hook Up hey good morning guys morning Al Morning, Jim. Uh, yeah, Al's uh, father is my neighbor, uh, Carol Clowers, and uh, I talk to him about once a week. He gives me all the info on what uh, uh, Captain Clowers is doing and what Al is doing. And uh, I know you're improving your arsenal on your boats. I think you have two boats now, and you're going to go to that 36-footer. I guess the guys can go on the website find that info. But um, a couple of questions. Uh Targeting those bonefish, is it that gulp uh, shrimp three inch? Is that the bait? I mean, if you don't use ghost shrimp, that uh, artificial gulp shrimp bait, is that the deal there, that three inch natural color? Or what's a good artificial bait? And I did fish Otai yesterday with crawdads, a tough bite, but we got me and my buddy uh, Doug Ante, who's the new cook on the San Diego, we got seven, uh, not real big. The big fish was six pound, one ounce. But the oh, nice. oh yeah. not real big. Yeah, just, you know, other That's than that, nice no big fish, deal. Jim. Shoot, man. Yeah. That's great, Jim. Over there yeah, plucking yeah, away on my rock pile. The fish started for six, seven hours to get seven fish, you know. It was not white. But it's still starting on those crawdads. And it's funny you mentioned that, Al, about a small spot. We had a f- spot. At Otai, we were fishing from shore about a five foot radius, maybe ten, up to ten. And he kept sliding over this one bush. He'd actually dangle that crawdad like a Christmas tree ornament and get bit, or just coming over that bush and bounce down and that crawdad give a kick and he got bit. So it was a small little spot that we were targeting to catch those fish. But uh, anyway, what's that hot bait for those bonefish, the artificial? Uh, 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 bone, I mean, an artificial bait for bonefish. You know, a fly is a good, a good, like a little ghost shrimp fly, or they make this little, you can get them at Walmart. It's a little tiny, like a crappie jig head. I think it's an eighth ounce. They're hard to throw. I throw them with the wind when I'm throwing them. And you put a little tiny one inch white grub on it, but the head is pink. So it's a pink head. It's that little crappie, um, Lead head with the gold hook like on it, really tiny little thing. Uh, and a white. With, yeah, with a white little one inch grub. One inch you know, grub. I don't do it too often, but if I have to, if I run out of ghost shrimp or whatever, I'll do that. Yeah. All that said, sure. bonefish yeah. is a tough nut to crack without yeah. having bait. Absolutely. That's just, that's just Absolutely. one of those fish that. Yep. Go pump some ghost shrimp. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's yeah. the way to catch it. And uh, here's a tip on the ghost shrimp, okay? I've been through a bunch of stuff with the fishing game on the ghost shrimp. Okay, you can only have 50. 50. Okay. 50. Yeah. 50 is the number. Per person. Yeah. 50 per 50 per person, and they do check it. Yeah. So when you're out there pumping, make sure you count them. If you, <laughs> I, I know if you can't make They'll them or whatever. It. I know I know people that have like gone to Point Loma Seafoods and have bought bay shrimp. You know, like you know shrimp that yep. you would eat the real small shrimp, and like you know use little cut pieces of that. I don't think it works as good, but you know it it's, You know it's an option, and you know bring some cocktail sauce, some you know smelly Kelly cocktail <laughs> sauce afterwards. You you got you got a little lunch, you got a little lunch going for you you're too. In there. All right, hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. And when we come back, we got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way, more information, more catch reports, and another full hour. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Hi, I'm Hayden Lane from Fast Lane Sailing and Kayaking Center, and I want to tell you about our newest best-selling kayak, the new Hobie I-11S. The thing is an inflatable kayak, but this thing has all the advantages of an inflatable kayak with no sacrifice in performance. It's super wide and it's super stable. It's shaped like a stand-up paddleboard. It just skims across the water, making it one of our fastest kayaks, and it rolls easily back into its bag. That's right, easily. It's so quick and easy to use, it's become my go-to fishing kayak. My mom and dad just threw a couple in the car and drove up to Mammoth Lakes for a few days and caught a whole bunch of trout. This kayak solves so many problems for so many people. No roof racks needed, 
no storage in the garage, throw it in a closet, throw it in the back of your car. Most importantly, come down and try this new kayak out. You won't believe how well it works. We do demos every day at our shop right on the water in Mission Bay and would be happy to take you out on it. So call the shop at 619-222-0766 to schedule a demo. Or check us out on the web at FastLaneKayaking.com. It's time to get excited about fishing, and Point Loma Sport Fishing has everything you'll need. They offer half-day and three-quarter day trips daily, perfect for families and the novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips, targeting the best of seasonal catches. Visit their website at pointlomasportfishing.com where you can purchase tickets online and get more information on the trips available or call 619-223-1627. When it comes to catching big bluefin tuna in local waters, Shimano has the gear proven to land the big ones. You already know the hot jig is the Shimano Butterfly Flatball Jig. And when you match that with the right tackle system, it makes this great jig even more effective. We suggest you grab a Tranks 500 HG and fill it with 80-pound Power Pro Max Quattro. Max Quattro is 25% thinner, which means 25% more line capacity when you hook that giant. Match your new setup with a Therese 70H and you have the power to put the wood to that big blue fin tuna. The Tranks 500 HG has the cranking power you need. And with the level wind, you concentrate on fishing your Shimano flatball and leave the line control to the Tranks reel. Hundreds of big fish have been caught on the flatball. And when you add the Power Pro Max Quattro Tranks Therese combo, you'll take your fishing to the next level. See your local dealer or check Shimano.com for all the details. XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The mighty 1090. For decades, the Kona Kai has been considered San Diego's premier marina, resort, and spa. Now, with millions of dollars in upgrades, the Kona Kai Resort is a destination for travelers worldwide who can live it every day. The docks and services are the finest quality in San Diego, and the Kona Kai is the closest marina to the open ocean. As a marina tenant, you enjoy many benefits, including secured free parking, a deluxe health club, swimming pool, and more. Enjoy discounts at their restaurant, bar, and hotel. If you don't have a boat, there are membership available at a very affordable price. The Kona Kai Club has been offering members a home away from home since 1953. Members can spend their days on Kona Kai's private beach, meet new people in the club's modern lounge, share a meal with family at Bessel Restaurant and Bar, or pamper themselves in Spa Terra. Check out ResortKonaKai.com on the web for more information, to reserve a slip, or inquire about joining the club. The Kona Resort, like being on vacation every day in your own backyard. Fisherman's Landing is the top choice in local and long-range fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Our hardworking crew is always looking for ways to improve your fishing experience. We offer the finest open party trip from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet is second to none. We are proud to say Fisherman's Landing is now a full-service sport fishing operation, offering half-day trips on the Dolphin, and now, for the first time in the long history of Fisherman's Landing, we have three-quarter day open party trips on the Liberty. We built the Liberty specifically to offer a better experience. Run by veteran captain Taro Takeuchi, the 85-foot Liberty is the first open party three-quarter day boat to offer bunks for your comfort. She also has huge bait capacity and RSW fish holds to keep your catch fresh. Plus, Liberty has a big galley and two interior heads with showers. Our open party trip from half day, three-quarter day, or one to three day trips can be easily booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Who's going to be more successful? The guy with a state-of-the-art fish finder and the latest sonar technology or the guy who wastes time looking for fish the old-fashioned way? Smart fishermen know how to embrace technology and no one understands technology better than your San Diego County Ford dealer. The new F-150 is the only truck available with Pro Trailer Backup Assist. The most advanced, most efficient way to back a trailer ever. It's just one of many high-tech features you won't find on any other truck. Ford is also the only brand available with EcoBoost, a twin turbocharged engine that offers impressive fuel economy without sacrificing power. In other words, Ford trucks just flat out work smarter. So whether you're on the road or on the water, don't let technology pass you by. Come in now and get a clearance price on a new high-tech 2017 F-Series 
pickup. Visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer today, Ford. That's California smart. Learn more at buyfordnow.com.